Hey guys, thanks for stopping by for another Waylight project video. Over time, we've amassed a decent amount of scrap wood. Some from pallets, some from junk piles, and some from other projects that had, you know, seen their end. Believe it or not, this is our first project that we've done that contained pallet wood, at least to this extent. We decided to take all of this scrap and make a wishing well. The main reason is to hide a sewer clean out in our side yard. We spent a decent amount of time getting all the wood from the pallets we had just how we wanted them. We removed all the nails, of course, and then ran them through the thickness planer several times, I mean a lot of times, to really get it down how we wanted it. I did have some old used pieces of 2x4 laying around that someone had given me that I think were part of a makeshift bunk bed or something like that at one time. We used these to make the frame of the wishing well, which was basically just a, a large box. We spent some time drilling and countersinking holes, countersinking since we were eventually going to cover them with some of the pallet wood. The whole box or inner frame was basically just two square frames sitting on top of each other with like two by fours at the corners and two five foot posts running vertical on the inside that the roof would eventually rest on. So once the box was done, we created some corner trim out of some of the nicer pieces of wood from the pallets. And these were like various hardwoods. I'm not real sure what kind they were though, but they were really, really pretty wood. Once all those were in place on all four corners, we started adding the slats in between the corners to make the siding, if you will, of the wishing well. We spaced these out with a small piece of scrap wood that would just happen to be laying on the table. The thickness really didn't matter, it just looked like what we wanted. Since this was a build it as we went type of project and wasn't planned out, making the roof was a bit of a struggle. We found the angle we wanted with the bevel gauge and got it marked out and cut. We attached those to the inside of the five foot vertical uprights and then scabbed over them with a piece of the uh, scrap piece of the pallet wood. The top was cut to a point to match the angle on the outer arms and then we ran two pieces of pallet wood over the top of both of those angles, basically just making a super generic truss. It was probably a lot easier than I just explained it. Once both of those were done, we cut a couple pieces of scrap plywood to match and left a little bit of an overhang and then slapped some leftover roofing on it and we did use really short screws to attach this roofing since the plywood was thin and we didn't want you know sink roofing nails through it. Uh, I did build a box that sits down in the empty space that holds a plant and we attached another length of wood under the roof to hold a hanging plant which kind of makes it look like that um, a hanging bucket that would be on a wishing well or on a well. But all in all, it was a pretty quick and easy build, and it does the job of hiding the clean out in our side yard fairly well. It took us about a day, day and a half to make it, and cost us no more than our time and whatever hardware we use, like nails and screws and whatnot. We'll most likely either add a clear finish or a paint to it, but we're not sure what direction we want to go yet. We're going to let it weather for just a bit, and then we'll make our decision from there. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to help support us, share it around. That helps us the most. But other than that, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.